My name is Ron Danielson and I am Vice Provost for Information Services and Chief Information Officer at Santa Clara University. I, I think the biggest challenge that the digital signage industry has is there really isn't a body of documented research that makes a compelling case for why DSE is important. Um, many of the people that I know who put systems in have have done it on the sly, so to speak, or they've done it as a leap of faith. And it can be very, very difficult to get funding for an initiative from people who really aren't aware of what digital signage is and what it can do. I don't really know the industry widely well enough to say which markets would be uh, good growth opportunities, but I certainly think that my own industry of higher education is ripe for applications of digital signage. Um, we have, a, a, in many cases, a, a market, a group that we market to that is not well known for keeping track of important things that are happening to their lives. 18 to 22 year olds uh, away from home for the first time often have other things on their mind. And getting communications out to them effectively is something that we've seen digital signage work very well for. And it's something that I think um, has a lot more applicability on other campuses that is really untapped at the moment. Um, there's also the issue of campus safety, which is a huge topic in higher education now, and digital signage plays a role in getting messages out to different constituent groups in ways that are immediate and effective to let them know what's happening on campus. I think critical communications and effective critical communications. You can reach large numbers of people if you've got your signages, uh, signs set up in display areas with high traffic. Um, it's, a, it's a very vibrant medium. It's something that college age students are very used to using and to going to for information. And so we found it to be extremely effective at getting information out to people. I think the biggest potential for digital signage, at least in my kinds of environments, is interactivity. Uh, once it becomes cost effective, both in terms of the, the hardware and in terms of what has to go on behind the scenes to make it all work with your applications and the information you're putting out, it's a natural for what our students want to do. Um, I, I think another area that's going to be quite important is student-generated digital video. Um, we've had our signage systems up now for a little less than two years, and I already have initiatives from the student governments and student clubs. They want to put their own content up on our signage system. In fact, they want their own signs that they can control, and they want to put their content up. Clearly, there's going to have to be some responsible adult who's editing this stuff before it goes up there, but they're already heavily into video. They've got flip video cameras, they've got video cameras on their iPhones, and they're going to want to use that medium that they're very familiar with as part of their digital signage messaging. Well, we started using digital signage um, two years ago was our first rollout and we had a phased approach. We were actually very fortunate in that we had two new signature buildings on campus that were coming online within a short period of one another. One was a new library and learning commons and the other was a new business school. We're located in the middle of Silicon Valley and projecting an image of high technical sophistication is important for some of the constituent groups that we're trying to reach. So we wanted to be sure to have technology as a prominent feature in both buildings. And, and so we planned for digital signage as part of those two buildings from the very beginning. That also was a way for us to get around the convincing people of power and money that this was something important. We had a technology budget for both those projects. We just slid digital signage in as part of the projects. We didn't have to ask anybody for money. All we would have had to do is ask for forgiveness if it hadn't worked out, but fortunately it has. So we started out with about uh, a dozen screens in our library. About nine months later, we put uh, 15 or 16 screens into our business school. Uh, we just put another eight screens into our student center. 
and now when I walk across campus, people stop me and say, when are we going to get a sign? The, the Digital Signage Expo has been a very, very eye-opening experience for me as a first-timer. The sessions have been wonderful. Um, the networking of commiserating with other people who've gone through the same kinds of things that we've gone through, picking up hints from them and getting ideas on ways in which we might be more effective and more efficient in doing what we're trying to do, and the opportunity to just stop and talk to vendors um, in a very, very concentrated environment is both a wonderful opportunity and almost overwhelming. I, I don't think digital signage certification is the kind of thing that really fits in with four-year university level higher education. Uh, we don't do certification in any other discipline that I'm aware of. But digital signage brings together a number of different academic disciplines. There's the technical disciplines, computer science, networking, um, there are the graphics arts, there's psychology, there's human-computer interaction. So as a topic for more traditional disciplines and application area, I think it's got a huge role ahead of it in higher education. Digital signage, join the revolution.